Hi, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can use Terraform in Ansible. We're gonna create EC2 instance in AWS and install Nginx. Let's get started. And in AWS console, uh, first thing we need to create the key pair. Let's go to key pair and let's create DevOps. It's gonna download to your computer and the only thing you need to do is to change the permissions. You need to update permissions on your file. Let's do that and then let's go ahead and create the Ansible playbook. We're gonna call it nginx.yaml. Uh, it's gonna be a very simple playbook. Uh, we're gonna install nginx and hosts all. We're gonna provide the IP address. Uh, remote user, we're gonna be using Ubuntu. So the remote user is Ubuntu, become yes. That means that we can be a sudo and run command with a sudo. And then let's go ahead and create the role nginx. Role nginx tasks and yaml. And it's gonna be two tasks. The first one will make sure that nginx is installed and it's the latest version. And the second task will be to make sure that nginx is started. Okay, so Ansible is done. And now let's create the Terraform file. And let's uh, start by defining some local variables. So the first one is VPC ID. You need to get your VPC ID and then subnet where you wanna deploy your EC2 instance. And then the user, Ubuntu, the key pair we just created, DevOps, and then where it's located, the, the key for that key pair. Okay, now let's uh, create the provider resource. And it's a AWS provider and I'm using a US East one region. And now let's create the security group. And it's gonna be uh, two ingresses. So port 22 that we can SSH, port A need to verify that Nginx is up and running and egress it's outbound rule. Zero that means all ports and minus one that means uh, all protocols and um, uh, 000 slash zero, seeder that means all IP addresses. And one more thing, let's create the, the final um, resource AWS instance. And it's gonna be Nginx. I choose the Ubuntu version 2004. And then this is our subnet and I can actually use local. subnet ID and it coming from here and then uh, I'm going to be using the uh, micro instance type. I need public IP address and also I need to use the uh, subnet that has the internet gateway as a default route and I need that internet gateway and be able to SSH to that since I'm using public IP address. There is a way how you can use private IP address but for simplicity, we're gonna keep public. Then we're gonna need to specify security groups. This is our security group that we just created here. And then uh, the key pair, DevOps. And here's the trick. Uh, you need, when, if you want to use the Ansible, you still uh, need to run it. Well, the best way is to run it locally, right? Uh, and, um, but when you create EC2 instance, it's not necessary that uh, SSH is ready to accept connections. And this is the trick how you can validate that SSH is ready. So this particular provisioner remote exec will wait till SSH is ready and execute this command. And it will let you local exec to be able to run your command and not fail because SSH is not ready. So this is uh, mandatory for us. And then the local provisioner, it's gonna be the Ansible playbook. Then we're gonna specify 
the public IP address for our instance, NBS, Nginx, public IP address. And you have to have this comma, otherwise you won't be able to use this as inventory. And then you're gonna specify the private key and this is the path where I have the um, a private key on my laptop and this is the nginx yaml uh, playbook that is located here this one and let's also use the output variable just to uh, get the uh, ip address where we can go so and the last thing that uh, i want to add is ansible configuration so by default if you run ansible playbook it will try to verify your host and for in our case we don't we don't want that just uh, let's create the uh, ansible config and add one configuration parameter here and it's gonna be enough so now it's ready so and uh, let's go ahead and run it and in order to run it we need to first of all run terraform init Initialize backend. Okay, and now let's run um, apply. Well, you can run plan if you want, but I will run apply right away. And it's gonna tell me that it's gonna create the two uh, resources. One of them is uh, Nginx uh, AWS, um, AWS EC2 instance, and the second one is the security group. Let's create it. And it also will run uh, Ansible playbook when it's gonna be creating the AWS uh, EC2 instance. And it will actually wait till SSH is ready. So I will show you. So now it's creating the security group. And now it's creating the instance itself. Okay, so is to instance is ready but um, because we have this remote exec it will wait till ssh is ready before it will run the playbook and now it, it's ready connected remote exec was successful connected and then uh, the local provisioner started to execute our ansible playbook and here we can see that now we install an nginx latest version on that ubuntu and we will make sure that it's running so it's going to be using the system d um, manager and now it's completed and we have the public ip address let's take that and go and you can see that nginx is up and ready that's it thank you for watching